Hey, hi everybody. Welcome back to Python for Java programmers. This is lesson number three. Today we're going to talk about strings. And here's where we're going to see some bigger differences between the way Java does things and the way Python does things. But you're also going to see some similarities, at least conceptually. So let's get started. Again, with Java, you need a class structure. In this case, class main, you need a function to start your program, public static void main. In Python, you do not need these things. You can just safely ignore them, although you could do it if you wanted to. So the first thing we'll see is we have a string called name and it has been assigned the value of Robert Smith. Now here's probably one of the biggest differences between Java and Python. Java is strongly typed. Once you say that name is a string, it is a string until the day it dies. In Python you can change <laughs> you can change willy-nilly whatever you want to do. You don't even have to tell it it's a string. Okay, so I would just say name equals quote Robert Smith. And those of you who, who know music know that Robert Smith is the lead singer of The Cure. So notice I didn't have to put string. Of course, I didn't have to put the semicolon, although as I said, you can do that. Uh, I mentioned that in the last video. So let's go ahead and print. And that's what we did in the last video, name. And again, in Java, we got everything's basically an object, so it's always object dot method or object dot attribute. But in Python, some things are and some things aren't. So I would do len name. So len, of course, stands for length. So I'm going to go ahead and run this over here. As a reminder, I'm using REPL.IT and for both of these. So you'll see where we got Robert Smith in 12, and I'm going to go ahead and run it over here in Python, and hopefully we'll see Robert Smith and 12. Another little difference is you see how Java is pre-compiling from your source code into the bytecode, then it's executing the bytecode. Python, it basically just runs. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on. So I'm going to print a blank line, and I'm going to print name in quotation marks, and I'm going to print name colon. Now this it's kind of an interesting one. I'm going to go ahead and put name like that. And I'm going to say print quote name colon dot format name. Okay, to kind of do the same type of thing that we did here. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. So you say we got name, name Robert Smith. And you can see there's it's a complete match. So notice here. This is actually the one area where actually Java is a little bit better, and you'll, you'll see this in a bit, I think. Oh, actually, no, you won't, because we're just looking at strings now, so we'll leave it at that for now, sorry. So name plus name, name plus name. Now here it's a little bit different. In Java, you actually have to use the string class dot format method, and then you use percent %s. Percent %s is a throwback to C programming. There is also a way to do this, I believe, in Python, I don't really use it, so I'm going to skip it for now. But basically, you just use format, and then where you have the curly braces, name will be replaced into that. So if I go ahead and run that, which I've already done, you can see how name plus name works the same. But string format is a little bit different. So here you need the percent %s. Here you do not use some braces. There is actually a way of doing it with the percent %s, but it, again, we don't really use it in Python anymore. It's kind of an older system. Uh, although I think they did add something new recently where they're bringing it back. I, I don't know. I'm not that up on it. Anyhow, this is just the basics and get you started. So again, I'm going to go ahead and set print. So we have a little bit of space. And print here, we're going to do some string methods. And so over here, we have two upper and two uppercase and two lower. And I think it's basically the same. So I'm going to try it because I haven't done this for a while and I didn't write this ahead. I think it's upper with quotation with parentheses and then print oops, dot lower and then again try, trying to do this from memory so let's hopefully see what we get here so we should have uppercase hello and lowercase hello and let's see what happens okay and of course I spelled print wrong so you guys probably figured that out it's extremely difficult to talk and type at the same time Okay, so this is basically the same thing. So you can see how the same methods exist in both languages. They just have different names. So hello.upper, hello.lower, rather than two uppercase, two lowercase. 
Notice this is also lowercase, and that we'll get to that in a little bit as well, probably. Now this is where we see a bit more of a significant difference in the way that Python does things versus uh, Java, excuse me. So I'm gonna say print substrings. And so you see over here in Java, we're using substring 04, substring 512, substring five. Okay. In Python, they're not really called substrings. They're called, we use something called slices. Slices are really, really helpful. Uh, you can do them with strings, you can do them with uh, lists, etc., etc. Kind of like you can do, you know, not you can't quite do substring with uh, lists and arrays in, in, in Java, but they have similar methods. So I'm going to go ahead and do print. I'm going to say good morning. And here we use dot substring 04. Here I'm going to do 0 colon 4. And that is a slice print uh, good morning again 5 comma 12 again I'm, this is not to teach you how this works I am assuming again you already know these things if you don't go ahead and watch a couple of my other videos that are introductions to Java or introduction to Python they basically follow the same code but this is just a side-by-side -side comparison for people that already know Java and of course I got to put a print a colon there instead and I do one more. Good morning. And if I just want one character, I just put one character in there. So I'm going to go ahead and wait, right, right. So I should see good morning and morning. And I'm going to go ahead and I just spelled morning wrong. I do a lot of spelling mistakes. And hopefully we will see good morning and Okay, a little different. So you can see how with substring, to get one, we didn't get one letter here. It's a little bit different. Okay. In Java, if you do f just one number, it starts at that number and goes all the way to the end. Okay. In Python, if you do one number, it just gives you that number. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. M is the f index 5. If you want to do exactly this, I'm going to go ahead and copy that so you can see the difference. If you want to do that, you just put a colon. And that will give you from 5 to the end. So let's run that. Now in Java, let me go ahead and copy that out for you. And let's make the output the same. If you wanted just the fifth character, it would be, f or index 5, you would do 5 and then plus 1. So let's go ahead and run that. Okay, so good morning M morning, good morning M morning. So you can see on a side-by-side -side basis, they're almost the same. Here, of course, we're using a method. Here, we're using something called slices, but they work essentially the same. So just, if you're coming from Java, just be real careful. You know, your expected behavior here is that you get the whole string or the, front, the whole end of the string, whereas in Python, you only get one character which is what this does. Okay, so keep those differences in mind. Okay, so that's it. That's all I really want to talk about for strings and just to kind of get you started and this is the way Python does things. Again, slices are super, super helpful. I quite like the syntax. It's very short and compact uh, compared to all of the typing you do in Java. So I, I should do a comparison, see how many characters I typed here versus how many characters I typed here. It's, it's much, much more compact. Anyway, that is that for Lesson 3 Strings. Stay tuned for more.